We're learning about medical marijuana, what it is, what it does, and giving you the facts to know your body. First up, let's get a dose of vocabulary. The wide world of marijuana can be confusing and understanding basic terminology can help you to navigate the facts. Marijuana is often referred to as cannabis as it's part of the cannabis family of plants that also includes hemp. The marijuana plant contains over a hundred different chemicals called cannabinoids. Cannabinoids are active chemicals that can alter the mind and body in a variety of ways, some of which have proven beneficial. Two cannabinoids from the plant that are being studied and used for their medicinal value are THC and CBD. THC contains the mind-altering properties associated with feeling high, while CBD offers health benefits without causing a high. Medical marijuana is not currently considered a cure, but it is used for therapeutic benefits of symptom relief. THC can reduce nausea, increase appetite, decrease pain and inflammation, and help with muscle control problems. CBD has benefits including pain reduction, controlling epileptic seizures, and it may even be used to treat mental illness and addiction. The therapeutic benefits of medical marijuana can help those suffering with multiple sclerosis, cancer, HIV AIDS, glaucoma, and Crohn's disease, just to name a few. While the FDA has not approved marijuana as medicine, the study of its cannabinoids has led to two FDA-approved medications that use cannabinoid chemicals in a pill. Let's dig deeper into how marijuana interacts with the body and tips on access with our expert, Dr. Caroline Hartridge. Dr. Hartridge, how exactly do THC and CBD interact with the body? The so CBD and THC interact within the endocannabinoid system, and this is the largest neurotransmitter system within the body, and it helps regulate or modulate our homeostasis, everything from temperature to appetite to reproduction to sleep-weight cycles. Those two chemicals in particular work in a lock and key mechanism where our receptors are the lock and CBD and THC are the different keys. Once the CBD and the THC interact with that receptor, they can stimulate bone health, they can decrease blood pressure, and they can modulate your perception of pain and even your memory of an unfavorable event. What are the different ways to take medical cannabis? in its whole flower form or whole plant form, and people typically know that is weed or marijuana. And in that form, you can smoke it in a joint or a bong, you can vape it, or you can eat it. In states where the flower is not legal and it's just a concentrate, the flower's been broken down into CBD and THC and then put back together in just concentrate forms. And in those states, you can have it in a vape form, in a pill, in a tincture, or a spray. What's your advice for somebody wanting to use medical cannabis? So I would start with your state laws, and you can check those out online. Department of Health is very transparent on what's available state to state. And then I would go to your primary care provider or whichever doctor you see most regularly because these products will interact with your regular pharmaceuticals, and it might even decrease the amount of dose you need. So I would start there, have an open and honest conversation with your provider, let them know that you're interested, and you want to know about the risk to benefit ratio of the medical cannabis product versus some of the ones you might already be on. That is some very important and helpful advice. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dr. Hartridge. And now you know your body.